So here we have three 4L60 input drums. The first one is a stock 300 millimeter. This one is the Sonics Smart Shell. It's got the Sonics heavy duty input shaft. And this last one is the 4L79 drum. What's that, you might say? Well, we're going to tell you. So, the first one here. Sorry, it's got, it's got in it. Has a snap ring, as everybody knows, that holds in the clutches. I don't have the three, four clutches in there now. And you've got the Sonics, which can stack more and has this screw on plate, pretty heavy, but a nice piece nonetheless. So you just put your stack in there, which be what your nine frictions instead of only seven that the stock one holds. And I think there's custom setups. Then you just align the bolt holes and bolt it up. Good to go. And you got the 4L79 drum. Real nice piece. It's got aluminum end plate and you're like oh that bolts in like the sonics well no this one screws in pretty cool huh so you just screw it on till it touches just barely there and then set there's some holes in there you will have to back it off just a hair and just screw it on pretty cool I weighed them all and the stock was the lightest I think it was at six pounds the 4L79 was seven pounds and 11 ounces I think no seven pounds four ounces and the Sonics was just a little heavier at seven pounds this was seven pounds, 11 ounces, sorry, seven pounds, four, four ounces for the um, 4L79. And um, hold on, I'll get some friction plates so we can take a look at the interesting thing about the 4L79 packs that you can fit. Okay, so I have here the stock 4L60 3-4 clutch that'd be in the stock drum, or you can stack more of these into the Sonics. The 4L79 comes with a wider and thicker friction and steels. It's a custom pack. I think it's made by Exidy. Anyway, as you can see, it's, it's going to be a little bit taller than the stock, and obviously it's much wider. So, there you go. Those are the three drums. Thought I'd show them to you. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.